What is going on guys, Tizwava here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the new stuff in the Subnautica Below Zero Sea Truck update. So the main star of the update is of course this vehicle right here, the Sea Truck, which is a modular underwater utility vehicle. Of course right here in the front we have the Sea Truck's cabin, it provides the cockpit, the propulsion, and the vehicle power source. Up top you can access the upgrades, and you can access the two power cells up here, and you can actually access the cabin up top. Now once you're inside, you can pilot the sea truck, and on your screen you can see we have health bars for the cabin, as well as the three modules I currently have attached to this sea truck. Now if you get out of your seat to your left, you can actually disconnect the modules with a simple flip of the switch, and that will disconnect your modules from your cabin, thus making your cabin significantly faster, because it's not pulling all this extra weight. So you're going to be a lot more agile just riding around with the cabin, but if you want to reconnect, you can simply just drive up and connect it to your modules. Something really handy is that if you disconnect your modules and you want to reconnect them really easily, you actually have a backup camera. So you have this little camera that appears in the middle of the screen and you can see if you're backing up correctly and if you get close enough, you automatically reattach to your modules. So real quick, let's just go over each of these three modules that are currently in the game. So this first module I have installed is the aquarium module and it gently collects and stores small marine organisms. So you can see it's got this little effect going on around it. If we actually go outside you can see that effect a little bit easier. But it's kind of like a grav trap where it's going to be attracting fish towards the aquarium and once they actually get close enough to the aquarium they actually get sucked inside of the aquarium and they actually get stored inside of the aquarium which is very very handy. Real quick let me just detach these other modules. So there are multiple ways to actually attach and detach attach the modules. As you see from the outside, you can just go up to the top with these orange bars and you can pilot the modules individually. Of course, if you pilot in a module and there's a module already attached, it actually pilots both of them. But if you pilot a module in the back, that's not attached to anything else. And of course, you'll be able to move it on its own just like that. But to further demonstrate the aquarium module, let's just take a ride around in our brand new sea truck. So we currently have the aquarium module attached. You can see we have the cabin and the singular module there in the middle. Of course, that is showing how much health we have on our modules. But basically, all you have to do is just drive around with the aquarium module installed. And every time you hear that sound, that is the sound of a small fish getting sucked up inside of the aquarium. So it sounds like I just sucked up two fish, another fish right there, probably some... Oh, just crashed into that fish. Rest in peace. <laughs> And if you actually crash into a fish and of course kill it, it'll actually suck up the dead fish. But I think we might have sucked up a few fish already. And if we come back here into the aquarium module, you can see we have a lot of fishies just kind of swimming around. We've got a boomerang, hoop fish, and over here we've got another boomerang, we've got an arctic peeper, and another hoop fish right there. And you can actually open up the aquarium and grab the fishies by using this little open storage button right here. And you can see we've got a boomerang, two hoop fish. Well, one of them's a dead old hoop fish, so unfortunately, <laughs> we've got a dead one on us, you guys. And of course, we've got that arctic peeper, so you can just grab them out of there, or you can just put them back inside of there. Unfortunately, you can't put a dead fish back inside of the aquarium, but I guess that's a good thing if you think about it. But you can actually take fish out and put fish back in if they're alive. And you can use this basically as like a fishing net. You can just catch a bunch of fish just by driving around in your sea truck. Or if you just want to have a little bit of decoration, have some fish friends with you along for your adventures. But over here we've got two boomerang and two hoop fish. So there we go. Let's just give them some friends with the arctic peeper and some more hoop fish. Not the dead one, but another boomerang right there. <laughs> and there we go. You can see we've got an aquarium here with some fish friends. And if we keep driving around, we're probably going to catch even more fish inside of the aquarium. So you guys can definitely see how helpful this could be. And next up we have the fabricator module, so simply just grab the module from the top with those orange bars as I showed earlier, and you can pilot the module to the back of your sea truck and it'll automatically attach once you get close enough, and ba-boom! And of course you can just access it from the caboose, and now we're inside of the sea truck, and you have access to a fabricator! So you guys saw we just caught some fish over here, well my hunger's basically full, but I could definitely do for a hoop fish, you know what? Let's cook the dead, uh, you know what, uh, yeah, let's cook the dead decomposing hoop fish. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you cook it, it doesn't matter, it'll turn into a healthy cooked hoop fish either way. <laughs> but yep, there it is right there, plus 23 food and plus 3 H2O, let's just eat that, and there we go. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys can see how useful this can be in conjunction with the aquarium over here. You can just catch a bunch of fish and immediately just cook them or turn them into water bottles if you find some bladder fish. As well as just generally having a fabricator on board for crafting different resources, 
different items, deployables, all this other stuff. Very, very helpful to always have a fabricator nearby. And by the way, this is not storage. I guess it's just like a just a bench, just a decorative bench. So unfortunately, you can't store anything inside of there. But if you are looking to store stuff inside of your sea truck, we need to make yourself a storage module. And let's just go attach that to our sea truck over here. And there we go. Now it's connected. Enter the sea truck in the back. And when you come inside, you can see you have five different storage lockers. So here on the left, you have two lockers that have nine different storage slots a piece. So I could actually store nine different small items in there, or I could store a sea glide and some other random trash in there at the same time. It's a three by three grid right there, as well as a second one right here. So you have two three by three storage lockers right next to each other there on your left. You've got a storage bench down here, but this one is a two by four orientation. So you're not actually able to put a sea glide in there but you are able to put a bunch of small one slot items in there like that so you've got eight slots in there and you've got six slots over here in a two by three orientation so once again not able to put something like a sea glide in there but you are able to put smaller items like that in there and of course you got a second one over here that is also six slots two by three so there you go that is the brand new sea truck here in subnautica below zero I'm sure you guys can see just how versatile this vehicle can be, especially when you can customize which modules you have, how many modules you have, and kind of customize your sea truck based on what you're going to do. Like maybe you're going to get a storage module and go out on a resource gathering adventure, or maybe you need to get a bunch of food so you get yourself your aquarium module. It kind of fits somewhere between the Seamoth and the Cyclops, if you think about it. It's definitely a very, very powerful vehicle and a welcome addition into Subnautica. Now, this recent update brought more than just the sea truck. There are two new biomes here in Subnautica Below Zero. As you can see, I'm here in the Twisty Bridges biome, but there is now a deep Twisty Bridges biome as well. So if you come down to the very bottom of the Twisty Bridges biome, you'll see this little crevice right here. It's going to be kind of hard for me to maneuver here. <laughs> but if you slip right through that crack, you'll see down here is the deep twisty bridges biome now if you look at the top of the screen my sea truck can only go down to 275 meters and we're getting down really deep right now i'm slowly approaching that 275 meters right now so i really need to take it careful or else my sea truck will start taking crush damage but down here is the brand new deep twisty bridges biome and there is a new hostile creature inside of here as well and there it is right there it's the oh no I already got it! I already got it! Oh my gosh! Holy! But it is the squid shark! Very, very dangerous. You guys saw I took some damage right there. I had to escape as well. But the squid shark is one of the two new creatures here in Subnautica Below Zero. You have to be very, very careful when dealing with that creature. Alright, I need to sea glide up to my sea truck so I don't heckin' die, so... Whew, there we go. Made it in last second. Alright, so now if you guys are trying to make the sea truck modules, you can actually find the fabricator and storage module fragments down here. So if you're looking to craft those modules, you're going to find them down here in the new Deep Twisty Bridges biome. And another new biome here in Subnautica Below Zero is the Thermo Spires biome. You can find the sea truck and aquarium module fragments here. Over here, you're going to find bone sharks and rock punchers, so definitely be careful around here. Another new creature here in Subnautica Below Zero is the Sea Monkey. And there it is right there. Now this pesky little fella will actually steal your items from you. So you really want to be careful around this guy. So he's actually passive. He won't hurt you. But of course he is a pesky little fella. So make sure you don't have any items out or else he'll come by and steal it. I want to see this guy steal this knife. Oh my god, he stole my knife. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess with that sea monkey. It has a heckin' knife. Holy, it's playing CSGO. Of course, when you do get your item stolen from you by the sea monkey, you can just go up to it and grab it back. But of course, it is annoying having to deal with those sea monkeys, so definitely watch out for these guys. Sea monkeys also form nests out of scrap metal and organic debris. Sometimes they find and collect valuable artifacts, so definitely check these nests often, and you may find something valuable here. And last but not least, the cargo transfer island got a bit of a facelift. As you see, now we've got this dock over here at the very front of the island. And now these thermal pools are actually detailed. And you could find crystalline sulfur inside of these thermal pools, which can be very helpful. Now, once you get to the top of the island, of course, you have this base over here. But now you have this entrance all the way up to the launch pad. 
And the rocket has moved, I think it was here last time, and now it's been moved over here to this cliffside. And you've also got this radio tower here as well, so they've done a bit of touching up around this island, especially if you look over the edge, it looks pretty beautiful. And that's everything that's new here in the Subnautica Below Zero Sea Truck update. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you guys did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Gotta put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there.